I have played archers to a lot to understand the game and how do some things work in it. What are the things you can do and do not? How is the gameplay and what is Gamer Phoenix's rating? Stay tuned and I will tell you all you need to know in my review of Archers 2. Coming up. Welcome to Gamer Phoenix. I am Phil, your good game guide. Please subscribe to my channel for Gamebox's digital gaming reviews. If you have played Catapult 2, then the level of quality that you come to expect from BYV is not disappointing. The game is more challenging than Catapult 2. Don't try to draw any comparisons from the two games as they are vastly different. Although the game is called Archers, you have two other champions to choose from. One is the Spearman called Thrower and the other is the Wizard. All three of them are ranged units. Unknown to me, I chose the Archer. The game starts with a basic tutorial on how to shoot an arrow. This is typical. When you start the game, aiming will be very challenging. I did not want to look at the game from Catapult 2's perspective. Because if you have played Catapult 2, then it will be hard to remove that similarity out. I can't say for sure if it is true the other way around. Playing Archers 2 is a matter of getting used to. Play a few levels to get the hang of it. The controls are similar to how you control the catapult too, but the position of the archer towards the bottom of the screen may prove to be difficult for some of you initially. You need food as payment to play a level. Simply put, food is like your power or charge. The best thing about this is, no matter how much you play, it may never get exhausted. Even if it does, you can refill it by running ads. Why was it introduced in the first place if it is not supposed to run out? It kinda defeats the purpose. Your archer remains static and does not move from his place. The animation is stickman similar to Catapult 2 except that the characters are larger. The death heal of the enemy units is strikingly similar. The first few levels are super easy but the first boss fight will not be easy. Gameplay wise the learning curve isn't difficult. Don't let the first few levels fool you into thinking that the game is easy. It is not. The amount of power ups you get in the game is decent. There are many things with which you can upgrade your archer. There are spells called skills here, variations of different arrows and armors. The fun factor is there no doubt. The addiction is something you have to be really careful of. It isn't bad but it isn't good either. Some levels are bite sized while as you progress the level tends to get longer offering you the kind of challenge you would come to expect. There are surprises in store for you with the kind of enemy units that gradually come in the game. Here there are no strategies just pure tactics so this isn't a game where you go all guns blazing or rather all arrows blazing in this case. You have to apply your brains on how to take out some enemy units. The thinking part is bound to occur when some newer enemy unit appears in that level. To beat them, you may want to use different arrows, skills or even different arrow types and armors. You have decent choices when it comes to decking your archer in different armor and skills. The choices aren't much, but common sense here dictates that the pricier ones are better. Getting gold isn't difficult and you can double your gold by watching ads after receiving your level reward. That's a good thing as it helps you earn gold faster. There are no daily incentive rewards, but you do get crates containing gold and sometimes food and gems after some intervals. You can also get additional gold and food by watching ads. So what are my thoughts? The game is pure fun. The gameplay is interesting, no story involved, you jump directly into the action. It is perfect for those who seek a game which has a higher level of intensity, challenge and some good fun. It is addicting and you will keep coming back for more. The game earns an impressive score of 20. Despite the excellent scoring, 
I never give top ratings to any game as there is always room for improvement. So Archers 2 earns a final rating of 9 out of 10 which is splendid. Have you played this game? Let me know in the comments. If you agree with my thoughts then please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching right till the end. I will see you again next time. Until then, happy gaming.